Greetings. I'm Beverly Gay McCarter of Human Mosaic Systems and am a 2011 graduate of the University of Washington's Virtual World Certification Program. I'm also a member of the Virtual Biodome community. Today's hyper-connected complex world is challenging not only the way we collaborate and work together, but it's also challenging the way we learn. The traditional Industrial Revolution style classroom learning is giving way to minds that learn best through lateral thinking, connecting the dots, and kinetic hands-on learning. And virtual worlds are providing a powerful platform through which learning in today's ever-evolving complex world is finding greater applications. Participants are able to experience abstract ideas that can't be readily experienced in our physical world. They're able to kinetically learn skills and practice them in an environment that enables complex emergence, those unpredictable experiences that occur when people get together and interact. They can learn specific skills or information at a deeper level and then practice those skills in dynamic, changing environments where how they use those skills are not laid out by the instructor. The participant learns to use their knowledge and skills in changing context. My unique background in counseling psychology and human systems, fine art, and complex systems is utilized when I design virtual world environments to help create deeper and more meaningful experiences in today's complex, ever-changing world. Let me show you how. As part of the 2011 certification class, this is the final project I designed and created, my Maya Astronomy Center, as team leader for the Maya Science Build, which was part of the Maya Island. It demonstrates one of three levels of immersive learning experiences in virtual worlds. This build is the first level of learning, a self-guided exploration of an information-rich environment that's aided by interactive intelligent agents, or AIs, 3D models of concepts, mentor guides, first-person perspective demonstrations of information and skills taught, and information given through the use of AI, chat, video, note cards, slideshows, and web pages. The second level is to take the information skills learned and practice them in a scripted environment with feedback as to the decisions made and a chance to change those decision points. The third level is to then step into a complex emergent system with live other participants and see how well the skills and information really has been learned. These three levels of instruction are geared to address wicked problems in multi-user virtual environments, the impact of human interactions and the unpredictable complex systems they are. Learners today need to learn skills they can utilize in contexts they have never seen before or even imagined and be able to utilize those skills in collaborative environments. Today, learning environments need to incorporate an understanding of group dynamics, complexity, those unseen dynamics that have dramatic impact when you least expect it, and collaboration skills. As a result, there are four basic elements that have a significant impact on virtual world learning designs with wicked problems in mind, enabling deeper learning that the participant truly owns. These include group dynamics and the impact of those interactions, our sense of identity, and the avatar is an integral part of this in virtual worlds, the relationships we develop, and the power of storytelling and narrative structures to help us understand complex situations. At Human Mosaic Systems, we help tap into potential. We design environments that facilitate communication and group dynamics, enabling deeper learning, creativity and collaboration, and integrative thinking. We facilitate key psychological dynamics underlying complex human interactions, and all of this with attention to the aesthetics as well. For your next Virtual Worlds project, contact Human Mosaic Systems. You can find us at www.humanmosaicsystems.com.